Okay, so here we are back the next day. And I just can't seem to find a simple, silly little worm. It's not here anywhere. Anyway, they got to clean this table off, and I'm going to have to find that, uh, not worm, a friggin' little dragonfly thing. It's a worm now, it's a dragonfly once the wings are on. But yeah, I got the wings done, but I gotta go find it. Now where is that little dragonfly gone? What are you, a little worm? Silly little dragonfly worm, aren't you? Okay, so. Silly little dragonfly. This is what you get for when you guys are going to want to create uh, mystical little creatures, right? Maybe if I didn't carve my face, it wouldn't have come alive at nighttime. So anyways. Okay. Ah. Here's the wings that I put together. Stained glass, guys, copper foil, then I soldered the outsides. So here will be one wing, and here will be the next wing. Okay, so there'll be something in there, something like this. Well, whatever. You get, the, you get my point, okay? Like I said, there's going to be little tiny copper pieces coming out for his hair and his beard. With a thousand little drill holes. I don't know any other way to do it. Here's some thicker copper I got from the hardware store. Um, it's ground wire. And this will be its legs. But I'm kind of still a little bit stuck right now. Um, I'm waiting. I've ordered some copper wire uh, that has like a... Uh, I guess or like a loom, uh, or steel on the outside of it. I don't know what it's called, but I ordered it like three days ago, knowing that I was going to do this project so I could put like little veins inside the wings here, inside the wings, but it's not here yet. And I want to get this carving done. So I think I'm going to have to go to the hardware store to get some more stuff for this dragonfly. So it's Michael's hardware store, not hardware store, freaking art store. It's Michael's. I like walking through there too and seeing all the different stuff that they got. So I was thinking maybe I could put some kind of gem or something on its uh, back here. So anyways, I'm going to go to the store and see what they got. Maybe they even got some thicker uh, copper, copper there so I can uh, use it for the legs. Okay, I'm going to go there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so here I am back from the store. Got myself some different styles of wiring. Actually, this is the Amazon one that I ordered was home. Craft wire. And I got some of this black stuff, but it's real copper. And whatever. So, I got to put in the... I got a solder vein. Like, a, let's see here. Where's a little piece of wire? Just like little pieces like this to act like the veins inside the wings. But you guys... You know, I don't expect you to make your solder, your wing solder. So you can get like a, I just want to make, just say this quickly, okay? You can go to, I went to the dollar store and bought this. It's like a birdhouse thing, right? What was it? It was three bucks, okay? So you get this wood here. You just, hold on a second here. How am I going to break this? Hold my camera too. Oh, okay, so I got to break this and I'm going to show you something. Okay there, so I got it broke apart, right? So, 
if you guys don't have thin wood, just get something like this. Draw out your pattern, cut it, mark it, right? Maybe you can use one pattern for two sides, one piece for two sides, but I don't think so. Mark it, cut it, and then you got your wings to use for your piece, right? So there's a simple solution to make your wings, guys. Just go to the dollar store and buy some cheap wood like this stuff. That's all you need. You can paint it, do whatever you want to do, okay? So I'm going to get these wings done. I'm not going to film it. Maybe I film a little bit, but it's going to take a while. I'm still learning the soldering crap stuff. Yep, okay, bye. Okay, guys, so there's the wings done. You can see I got, uh, it's all wire in here, and I had to solder all those little wires in. Kind of looks like the veins. I don't know. They're not perfect. It's the first time doing little soldering like that, so good enough for me. I can uh, choose to have the silver and make this uh, solder go black. I got the antiquing stuff. And you guys, like I said, it's all the stuff that I had before. I didn't go out and buy a whole bunch of new stuff for this project. Besides this little thin wire in here. Okay. I still got to think what I'm going to do with this guy. I think what I'm going to do here is just stipple this with the circles and stipple this with circles. Because I'm going to do what I used to do. I, I'm going to do, sorry. I'm going to dye this blue. And then I'm going to use mahogany um, poly shade on it. I still got to put those beard hairs in and uh, hair hairs in too. So, but uh, anyways, what I'm going to do now is stipple all this part. And I got to find out where I'm going to uh, carve to get these wings to fit into place. They got to slide in and off that epoxy them in or something. I'm terrible at fitting things, guys. Okay, on with the show. Guys, I've changed my my mind for the 20th quadrillionth time. I found this uh, crystal that a friend, uh, Shelly, gave me. She gave me a bunch of crystals like this and old chandelier stuff. So I'm going to try. I got this zip cut disc. This is a diamond disc, okay? I'm going to try and cut this. I'm going to do my best attempt at cutting this in half. You guys, this is glass where your dust mask when you cut this stuff. Because I'd like to have this, one of these bowls, on each here on the top of it, right? So I'm going to try and cut it in half, and I'll uh, see if I can get that done with this uh, diamond disc. Okay, so that didn't, uh, I just had this little tiny guy on my micro motor running it real slow. That didn't turn out as I had planned, as it kind of shattered. You can see it was shattered inside here anyways. But I did manage to get half of it off. So I will try and put this piece on the center here. It just kind of makes it, fills it in so this piece isn't so blank. You know, just not a big bulky piece. So what I'll do is uh, try and cut that in now. I'll hold it on here and then I'll draw around it and then I'll carve deeper in there so it will be inset inside of here. Okay guys, I got my circle kind of drawn on. What I'm gonna use is this little tiny uh, metal working burr. It's a detail burr with a bottom cutter on it. And my mic, I'm using these uh, Master Crafter Micro Pro. You guys can find these on my Amazon store. They're 200 bucks uh, American or 240 with the foot pedal, okay? So they go. this goes up to 46,000 RPMs, this. So I'm gonna carve this out with this little burr and I'm gonna try my best to see if I can get this, this thing fitted in there. Who knows, wish me luck. Aha! So slow and steady wins the race when you're trying to fit something like this. That's for sure. Okay, that's in. So uh, he's got his magical blue orb on his back. So uh, let's uh, figure out what we're going to do next. i got to think about it. Okay, so I did decide that I want to stipple all this. Stippling is like uh, when they make signs, guys, or certain things, and it's a background. So all this, I got this uh, little diamond burn here. I'm just going to go along all around here and smart, 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 put little dots all around it. Why not, right? Oh, and I think I'll use this crystal for his tail, for his, the, the crystal spike. Why not, eh? Why not? Okay, so I'll just burn a couple of these in here underneath because you want to have an undercut, right, guys? I don't have a fence blowing this air away from me, but I'm holding it far away from me too, so. So it's undercutting okay, but not as not as fast as that 
cheap, cheap China one that I had that whole life. But the handpiece broke, so I had to retire it. I still got the base. Maybe I'll try and figure out, uh, we'll get another handpiece for that or kind of putting something together. Because I saved the plug that the handpiece comes, plug is into it too, right? So I don't know, but uh, for all my subscribers anyways, I had a massive tooth infection. Well, I thought it was a massive tooth infection, but it wasn't a massive tooth infection. It was one of my uh, molars in the top back teeth. I thought it was a massive tooth infection, but it wasn't. The tooth needed to go anyways, because I once had a root canal on it and I never got it crowned or whatever, because it was pretty well a bad tooth. So, But it's been a sinus, a sinus uh, infection or whatever it's called that I've had. So that created pressure to the tooth. So that's why the tooth hurts so much. So now I'm still dealing with the sinus crap. Uh, I've been on like, I've been washing, washing my nose out with like uh, that salt stuff that blows up into your nose. Sorry guys, it kind of sounds gross, that salt water. And I also got, uh, I'm on that sinus meds just over the counter, Advil stuff for sinus, my doctor said. But she's going to call me tomorrow and uh, do a checkup to see how uh, it's going because I don't think I still it's I still got the infection I'm not going to get into it but it's a real gross tasting thing man it's disgusting the grossest thing I've ever tasted in my life or smelt but anyways I'll leave it at that so she's calling me tomorrow to uh, let me know I'm going to get on I'm going to tell her that I need antibiotics because what really worries me it's just right it's right beside my head injury right and I had lots of infections in my head so last thing I want anything to do is travel up there and deal with that crap again. Because that's that's when you get into real nightmare stuff, guys. Thinking that your brain's going to get infected, right? So anyways. Okay, that's enough of that. So let me get this all this burning down here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I, I kind of forgot where I left off last time. So now I got... Uh, okay, I got the outside painted for that hole. For the gem. Um, I got the wing holes carved in, the leg holes carved in for these car copper legs. Um, let's see here. So now what I got to do, well, I got all the burning done on that stuff too, right? So now what I got to do is um, drill a thousand little holes in his head. That's why I painted it black so I'll be able to see the holes that I drilled. So a thousand little holes for the hair. And a thousand little holes on the underside for the hair with this tiny little drill bit. If I don't break it. But that's okay. I got more. Okay guys, so I got all my holes for my hairs. I don't know what I was thinking because I'm half friggin' mental. I got some in the mustache too and down here. It looks like a friggin' mess. Uh, I've clipped all the hairs. With these stupid little things I bought today, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these things because they were cheaper. I bought a set of three tools like this and they're for like a fucking mouse. Okay, so anyways, I got some blue dye. This stuff's the normal blue uh, powder water based blue dye. This stuff's from Lee Valley. I'm going to blue dye this thing, whole thing with this paintbrush from Dollar Store. Then... I got a brand new can of Bombay Mahogany Poly Shade. I'm going to get all that done. Okay. So, but you guys, you got to realize once you put this blue dye on, it's water-based. So you're putting water on the wood. So this stuff is oil-based. So you got to make sure that the blue, the wood is dry after you put the wood dye on before you put the oil-based stuff on because then the oil-based stuff will never cure properly and it will always be sticky and leave a big mess so i just put this the blue dye on i hit it with a hair dryer or my heat gun if i got it here and then uh put this stuff on okay so off to, this is taking me a lot of freaking work this thing i'm telling you it sure has Jeez. okay so let's just get some on here okay so it's all going in these holes and everywhere so I'll get this done 
and then I'll put the pulley on it and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this whole thing is dry now. Okay, you can't sand, I don't know what I'm going to do about these. I was kind of stupid to do with the, the hairs, but I don't friggin' know. Man, oh man. Okay, so uh, anyways, here's the pulley shape. It's all mixed up good, and I'm going to just go around and put it on. And we'll see how it looks. So what I do is I put the pulley shade on. Like I say in lots of my other videos, but some of you guys will be newcomers. I put the pulley shade on. I wipe it off well quickly. That way you can still get the blue color in there underneath. And then I hit it with my little uh, flap sander thing to, to show you highlights. Okay, so I'll get this done. And then I'll be back. So I got to get a rag. Okay, guys, so here it is all poly shaded. I like the color of it. Now, I've got to figure how I'm going to get all these little tiny silver pieces or whatever metal pieces to stick in the hair holes. So I figured the only way I'm going to be able to get that done is by taking, sorry, it's the focus is, I'm getting tired here, taking a five minute epoxy. And do it in sections. So I'll do it in four sections up here. And I'll do it in a bunch of sections on the back. Because I, this is five minute epoxy. And I won't have time to let it all. Uh, this stuff's really smooth too. So I don't know if it's going to stick in there with the epoxy. But we'll hope so. Okay. So I'm going to try and get that done. And I'll let you guys know. You guys want to hear how sick I am. Of having to epoxy every single one of these stupid little hairs in. By one at a time different batches of epoxy one at a time stick the little wire in the epoxy stick it in the hole what a stupid idea this is the stupidest thing I've ever done it better turn out good I'm telling you that much right now this thing is a friggin nightmare stupidity you guys can call your stu self stupid all you want but I'm telling you right now there's no bigger stupid than Jordy Bigger stupid than Jordy. That's for sure. Stupid Jordy, stupid. Okay guys, so here's what we got so far. I didn't do a very good job on the legs with the copper. I don't care at this point. It's getting late in the night. He's got his gem in his tail. Okay, he's got his gem in his back. He's got his crazy hair. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. If I was going to do hair like this again, I'd get that molding paste and put that, pa carve it out, stick that paste in there. And then, or I don't know if it's like that uh, epoxy stuff. Larry, here's a shout out to Larry uh, over in Vancouver Island, Larry Dibbs. Because him and his brother work with copper lots. And uh, he used some of that uh, epoxy that for a flower thing that he sent to me. A succulent holder carving. So, that's what I'd do there. I'd carve that out. Fill it with that paste stuff, the epoxy paste, and then stick the hairs in there. What do you want, Lee? So, guys, the last thing to now do now is put the wings in. What do you want, Lee? Okay, got to do the wings. Okay, guys, it done. It done. So, the dragonfly. Well, it's not done yet, okay? It's, it's done for tonight. Okay, so there it is. I'll tell you why in a minute why it's not done. So let's take a look at this thing. The gem and the crystal and the tail. I haven't washed anything up yet just because I want to let these wings truly cure before I start messing with anything. I like the way the wings turned out. I like the way that blue gem turned out. The stippling turned out pretty good. I think so anyways I will be fixing up his teeth as uh, feet those brass feet tomorrow because guys my original plan was to put, see that piece of wood there was to make it on a piece of wood like that sitting there but I gotta I'll, I gotta go to the beach tomorrow and find a good piece of wood for the uh, for the base okay so there's the whole three 
Like I said, guys, I would have done that hair a different way too. And the mustache. It was a real bitch. And I was just being stupid. I wasn't thinking. But I was kind of sick of it at that point. So, but it turned out good enough, right? It's not perfect. The feet, I just leveled it out. The feet are good for now. They're copper. But tomorrow I'm going to be going to the beach. And I'm going to try and find a thicker stick like this. So it will be like, uh, let's see here. It will be like this. But more of a L coming off of it. Like a branch coming this way. So he can sit on top of the branch. And then I'll have it on a base too. Right? So I'll be carving... I'll be carving the bra the branch or whatever kind of piece of wood I find them to sit on. And um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow is by the time you guys get this video uploaded to YouTube, I'll be carving the base for this guy and I'll film it. So sorry about these videos dragging on guys, but this is something new to me. And uh, this actually, believe me, took a lot more work than I thought it would actually take. It sure did. So, you know, I even thought about cutting the head off and just gluing on like a carving big eyes, like dragonfly eyes, but whatever. He's kind of cool. He'll grow on me. I don't know if I'll be able to sell something like this, <laughs> but we'll see how the base looks tomorrow. And uh, once I fix up all these legs and stuff like that, uh, if you got any suggestions for me, old Larry out there on uh, Vancouver Island, you're the copper guy, you'd know. So anyways, hope you guys are great. Hope everybody's being safe, getting lots of carvings done. I love seeing all the, the beginning carvers posting on the world of uh, carving fusion world of carving fusion world of wood carvers videos. No, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Carving fusion world of wood carvers on Facebook. And um, I'll try my best to be live this Thursday. 5 o'clock Pacific time. I'm still fighting this sinus thing, guys. So, anyways, hope you're all well. And uh, there'll be one more video. Sorry that there's going to be three videos for this silly little dragonfly guy. What's a good name for him? What do you think? Hope everybody's good.